So one of the things that everybody really seemed to be talking about uh, happened to be cool cars. The future of cool cars because it looks like they're no longer just putting TVs inside the car, they're putting them on the exterior of the car as well. Exactly right. Uh, the, they're putting cameras all around the car. They're putting large displays in the middle of the dash of the car. Uh, the booth, what really was, which was really showcasing that, was NVIDIA's booth. And they had a Lamborghini Aventador uh, showcased in the center. And by the way, I've, I've, I've gotten word that they're going to see if they can actually get me one to test drive for a while, and I am absolutely <laughs> good at that. But the, uh, but the real showcase, though, was the Tesla S. Uh, it had a 17-inch screen center dash. Um, a gorgeous um, a display, one that has me wondering how often we're going to be messing around with that display and ending up in somebody's trunk uh, yeah. in the process. But but the uh, but everything you could ever want in terms of uh, in terms of the display, including the idea of being able to add perimeter cameras and other things that would help you park and and, um, and get around. Kind of the 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 the, uh, the idea of things to come. Uh, probably the, the next big step would be uh, you know virtual displays in front of you and. And uh, much like it was with the Minority Report being able to interact with the screen, <laughs> that was, in fact, your windshield. Once again, thinking about how quickly you're going to end up in somebody else's trunk. I was going to say, I mean, it's pretty soon we'll be in the, uh, the pool, we'll be in somewhere else, just go right in over the, uh, over the edge. So the, the one thing I look at with all this, though, when it comes to cars, I'm always, I mean, I'm a car guy myself, so you see an awful lot of concept cars. Do you, I mean, in your honest opinion, do you think this is something that could, in fact, come to fruition, especially, you know, factoring up the, the safety issues? Yeah, no, I do. And remember, we're moving to self-driving cars. Like Google's probably the most aggressive right now in terms of getting cars to drive themselves. In fact, they've been driving a car up and down my freeways uh, without approval, I guess, for a couple of years now, which makes me feel so much safer. Uh, the, uh, the, so that increasingly, though, the cars are going to be able to avoid accidents in and of themselves and you'll be able to enjoy this entertainment. Uh, for now, though, I think you're right. There are some con real concerns with regard to people getting overly distracted with regard to the entertainment. I mean, you know, right now, if, if you get, a, say, a DVD player that plays in the front seat, uh, it typically doesn't run when you're driving unless you get one that's aftermarket, in which case it doesn't. And in that case, you do end up in that trunk again. Yeah. So, um, uh, so this really does, I think, indicate a future, but a future that's increasingly going to require the car to take over certain duties so that if you are enjoying the screen, uh, you're less likely to have an accident.